Hello and welcome to my channel Green Line Goddess Tarot. This is your daily reading for October the 27th, 2021. So we saw that yesterday it was a little bit of that energy of something, a little bit of fear or being a bit stuck about stepping into something new, maybe not feeling quite as optimistic and hopeful about something new that's coming through. So we'll see what's coming in today. What kind of energy is coming in for the 27th i just want to get some of the october 27th energy into the cards okay good that's feeling good now so turn it up the right way oh, immediately you're getting yourself in a better position which is good <laughs> seven of wands uh and yeah there's a big shift and change positive shift and focus happening here Oh, still a little bit of conflict, all fire at the moment. My goodness. Okay, so yeah, check your energy levels. The Nine of Swords, a bit of stress around as well, and the Eight of Pentacles. Uh, but you're working on it. You're working on it all, and it could also be around work as well. So this could also be with the King of Swords at the base. So uh, this is actually good energy with that, with the Nine of Swords. I feel like, you know, this is, this feels like there's a real struggle to kind of push something through to get motivated or get really competitive with something. Uh, it's actually not a bad thing. I feel like that Nine of Swords can be more a bit of overthinking or a bit of waking up in the middle of the night, a bit of anxiety. Usually it's, it's kind of like we were seeing a lot of the darkness yesterday and now it's more the light and a little bit of darkness of the Nine of Swords. It's something still playing on your mind a little bit. But uh, yeah, the Seven of Wands and the Eight of Wands says this real sense of positive momentum and shift. The Five of Wands is an interesting energy because this is where you could be testing your strength. It's like you've got this newfound resolve or new direction, and it's like trying to bring this collective up to a level. Uh, it's like everybody's, it is a competitive area. You might be having to deal with competition or getting competitive yourself about something, uh, but the thing with the five of wands as well is that it's everybody through testing their strength and getting better and better gets rises to a new level. And we're seeing this here with the seven of wands, uh, someone rising up out of the crowd or rising up to a new level. So that's where I feel like it's kind of like, where can I level up? This is the energy that's coming through. And I do feel like with the eight of pentacles, it has something to do with work. Uh, or something that you are working, have been working on. You're wanting it to get to that next stage, that next level. And that's why we've got this King of Swords. It's actually a very detached energy, very intelligent uh, energy. It's a clear energy inside your mind, very Aquarius type energy. You might be dealing with somebody who's like the decision maker, or this could be you with the King of Swords being right here. But there's decisions to be make, made. There's plans there's strategies, there's things that, that are going on inside your mind. So I feel like it's like these guys can fight amongst themselves while one person's sitting over here making all the decisions. <laughs> and it can be a little bit like that. But so there might be these um, interesting, you know, boss worker kind of dynamics happening, uh, maybe wanting to get some kind of approval across the line here by leveling up. So however that applies. And I do feel like maybe this is also just you purely thinking pure strategy about how to get to that better place. Uh, and the Seven of Wands can mean anything, you know, with the Eight of Pentacles there, it can be, uh, you know, upskilling or finding yourself in a promoted place somehow. You can just be getting, feeling more motivated, you know, getting your drive back. So I do feel like there's some very clear uh, messaging coming through. Uh, there's a positive shift and change, but it's a delicate balance because if one of those, one of the people, and there's this collective energy, if someone veers off, then it turns into conflict. If there's a part of you that suddenly goes, I'm not sure if I want to be doing this, then suddenly everything ends up in this turmoil. So it's like everything needs to kind of remain in this focus uh, in order to get things done. So that's where you kind of, it's a sort of day where somebody needs to be clear, somebody needs to be understanding exactly what you're wanting to get done today or what your aim and the focus of the day is. And it can also be reeling other people in that are being a bit messy. If you're like, there's kind of like this manager 
uh, energy of like, and this can be internal conflicts of what you want inside yourself, like I said, but it's it's reeling everything in into a sense of making something work. So, yeah, I it's getting there. It'll get there. And it might be a little bit of like, oh, this is never going to happen. But that's just your hopes and fears with the Nine of Swords. It is saying you're going to get yourself in a better position. It is going to work, but your head needs to be clear. So that's pretty much the simple message. And then there's a bit of things that could go wrong and get messy in the middle. But overall, you can get past that. So that's the general <laughs> message for the day. Uh, and uh, I look forward to seeing you tomorrow.